In last lecture, we have been talking about the hashing of the function signature. So, on the example of a set completed function, when we run it through the Kesak 256 function, we'll get this output, and as a function we are, we are calling when we are making transaction. In this lecture, we'll continue again with the additional information lecture, and I would like to talk about hexadecimal numbers, decimal numbers, and binary numbers, and a conversions between them. Okay, so usually what you are going to see in Ethereum or um, in other projects maybe, uh, usually you will see the numbers in hexadecimal format because they are easier to read for a, for a human eye. Of course, everything in the computers on the base level is in a binary, so either one or zero. But for our humans, it's much easier when we are working with transaction data, but work with a, by, uh, with a byte format or with, with work with a normal text. It's easier for us. Okay, but uh, let's explain some basics how we can do a conversion between these and uh, to convert between hexadecimal and binaries and normal decimal systems. So uh, let's explain an example. Okay, let me. Uh, by the way, if you have any information about this, go ahead, skip to the next lecture. It's just a bonus for you. Okay, I will get here empty note and we will we will run here first hexadecimal character. So how many hexadecimal characters we have? Let me go to the here corner. Okay, so hexadecimal characters we have, uh, they are 16 because there is a 16 based system. So we have, uh, I'll write here, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you are continuing with the letters A, B, C, D, E. And F. So that's the characters in hexadecimal, in hexadecimal format. So you can represent 16, 16 numbers there. And the total is a 16 of these numbers. It is a hex hexadecimal. Okay, it is a hex. All right, in a decimal. Okay, decimal. Decimal. Of course, in a decimal you have from a zero to nine. So this would be, so this would stay the same from for these characters. In a decimal format, this would be the same for uh, this zero until nine. But here, uh, a in a decimal would be ten, b would be eleven, c would be twelve, d would be thirteen, e fourteen, and f would be would be fifteen. Okay, so you have uh, from zero until fifteen. You can represent in a in a decimal these these characters here, and then you will take a look. When you will take a look on any hex format, you will not find there any other letters just from a zero until until nine and from A to A to F. Okay, you can notice here there will be no any other characters. And on a base level, this this uh, hex uh, number this hex number is converted into the binary format in the com in a in a computer base level. So that's a set of instructions. Okay, so here we have a decimal, and now let's proceed with a binary. This will be more complicated. Let's we can represent all these numbers on four on four bits. This will be binary or binary like this. Okay, so we can represent this on the four bytes. So for example, we have a zero will be zero 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 one will be zero 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 one. Two will be zero zero one two, uh, one two <laughs> zero, and we have a three zero zero one one, and we have a four uh, zero zero. This is a uh, okay. I first I will show you the example of how you can compute this by yourself. So you have these four characters, right? So you have a zero zero one zero. It is a binary, so the values of this. Uh, of these uh, bytes, uh, of these bits are two on the zero, two on the one, two on the two, two on the four, uh, two on the three. So this is the two on the zero is value in the end one, two on, two on the one is two, this is a four, and this is um, eight. Okay, and I'm just multiplying here. So zero multiplied by one is uh, zero, one multiplied by two is two. So that's the value is of this is two. Because here you have a value on a zero, one multiplied by the zero is zero, two multiplied by one is two, four multiplied by zero is zero, zero, zero. 
So only one active bit here in this uh, in these bits. So this means, and the value of this bit here is a two. So the, the value of this in the decimal would be two, right? That's what, uh, what I have wrote here: zero zero one uh, zero zero one zero. Okay, so that's uh, that's how it works. Uh, depending on how many active bits you have, every bit in the decimal ha it has uh, its own uh, its own value. And uh, what they are saying here, we are representing values on the four bits right now. We can, of course, we can represent it on much more bits. As in a Ketsak, we can have a uh, two hundred fifty six bits. Okay, so that's a conversion. So each bit has a value. This value here, if we, if we would add here another zero here, this would be two on the fourth, and this would be already sixteen, right? Okay, and uh, if I would be adding bits, the uh, higher values I could represent. But currently we are working on the four bits, so that's a value one, two, four, three, and depending on the active bits, you will multiply them together, and you will get a resulting uh, value. So when you have a uh, zero, zero, one, one, and the value of this uh, uh, bit here is a uh, one, this is, is two, so one multiplied by one is one, two multiplied by one is two, so two plus one is three, and here are not active bits, so only this active are, these ones are active, so this value on the decimal format would be three. That's how we can, uh, how can, that's how we can provide the actual numbers in just in a binary format. So with a, in a binary format, just with the one and zeros, we can provide uh, so many values. Okay, we can provide any values we want. All right, so that's uh, that's it. This and uh, yeah, now I can write here uh, zero zero. All the arguments we ended up on the four. So four would be actually four. Oops, uh, four would be different. This would be okay. This would be one here and zero zero. This is value of four. As you can see here, not active bits here. So then five. So this will be uh, zero one zero one. Now six. Uh, this would be uh, zero one one zero. Now seven, seven would be zero and one one one. Now value eight this would be zero uh, one and zero zero zero. Now value nine this would be one zero zero one. All right. Then we have a value ten. Okay, a it's a value of ten in decimal. So in the decimal. Uh, value 10 will provide as a 1, 0, 1, 0, and then 11. So uh, 1, uh, then we have a 0, 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, I'm uh, completely uh, misinterpreting these numbers. <laughs> okay, so 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so there's 8, there's 8, 2, and 1. Okay, that's 11. <laughs> All right, then we have a uh, one, one, zero, zero. Then we have a one, one, zero, one, and fourteen. Uh, we have a one, one. That's a eight plus four is twelve plus two is fourteen zero and fifteen one 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 one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Whew. We have managed. So let's actually represent some uh, hexadecimal format. So, so for example, as you have a here, let's but much shorter, okay? So let's say we have a hexadecimal number, usually denoted by zero x. You'll see in the computing that zero x is denoted, this, this will be hexadecimal, the hexadecimal number. Let's say a zero x, one, b, f, two. Okay, so we have here, how many bytes? We have here two bytes. This is uh, two bytes, oops, two bytes is equal 16 bits. So we have here 16 bits in total here, okay? So two bytes, two by, uh, one byte, second byte, one B is one byte, F2 is a, is a second byte, in total 16 bits. Now let's convert them, this number. Uh, first let's convert this into decimal format. So how can we go, go from a hexadecimal to decimal? Similarly as this, as you can see here. So we have these numbers here. Actually, I'll write it with the, with the bigger spaces, okay? So we have a zero, x, you don't need to, this doesn't have, this doesn't have any value. So we have a one, b, f, two. Again, as here in a binary system, you have only two values. In the hexadecimal, you have a 16 value, so this will be 16 on zero, uh, 16 on one, 16 on two, 16, three. 
Okay, so this value is one. Uh, this one is, uh, of course, 16. Uh, 16 on a base two, this is 16 times 16. So this will be 256. And uh, 16 times 16 times 16 is uh, 4090 and 96. Okay, so that's the values you can represent here. Okay, so actually this will be really this will be really a huge number what, what you are seeing here because now what you need to do is you multiply uh, one by two. So this, this number will represent one multiplied by two. F value of f you can notice here value of f is fifteen. So this will be fifteen multiplied uh, by uh, sixteen. The B, 256, so this will be 256 uh, multiplied uh, by B. B is the value of 11, multiplied by 11. And then uh, 1, so 4,096, 4,096 uh, multiplied by 1. Okay, so this can stay the same. So here we know that this, this value is 2 here. And now we can place all of the other values in the calculator. So 15 times 16. Okay. Okay, so 15 times uh, 16, 240. Oops, uh, 200, 240. Okay, so plus this. Then we have a 256 multiplied by 11. 256 multiplied by 11, 2816. Okay, 2000, I don't have any space here, 2816. Okay, so 2816, and this number will stay, so this one here, here, and we need to add them together now. Okay, so we have a 4,096, so 4,000, uh, oops, 4,096 plus uh, 2,816, 2,816 plus 240, 240 plus uh, 2, it's 2, uh, 7,154, 7,000, it's equal to 7,100. 54. Okay, yeah, that's the number. Now we want to transform it into binary format. This will be, in this case, it will be easier. Let me go back to Carbo. Okay, so uh, number two in a binary format we can represent as a 0010. Zero, zero, this will be 0010. Zero, zero, F is a uh, 111, so F is a uh, one 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 number B here is a B zero one zero zero uh, one zero one one okay I'm completely saying it in the reverse for some reason okay so one zero one 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 zero one one okay and uh, and number one number one should be easy this is just a zero 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 one zero 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 one so that would be the number in a binary format. Okay, binary, hexadecimal, and a decimal format here. Okay, so hex, binary, and here we have a decimal. Okay, uh, we can uh, verify if our assumptions are right, right? So now let's go to hex to decimal. And let's run here this number. So uh, one BF two, one BF two, convert seven thousand one hundred fifty four, seven thousand one hundred fifty four, correct. And hexadecimal to binary, hexadecimal to binary one BF two, one BF two, convert into binary, and we have here. Okay, let's verify it. Zero zero one zero, zero zero one zero, correct. Uh, one one one. One one one. So uh, four ones. One 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 one. Correct. Another four bits. Uh, one zero one one. 
one zero one one and then just a one here one here and they omitted these three zeros because they didn't went to to full but, uh, bits but they just wrote it here zero and this uh, other zeros are basically not needed to display the full number, okay? Because they, they, their value is just a, it's just a value of them is just a zero. Okay, so yeah, we have it correct. Exactly, with just these three omitted uh, bits here, we have exactly the same number as we have computed. So that's how you are converting between the numbers. And your computer on the base level, when you are getting instructions into CPU, uh, they are in a, in a bits, they are in a bits format. But what we are displaying on our screens, for our humans, is easier to read. In the hex formats, these numbers are much nicer. You can see only in the four characters I can display number seven thousand one hundred fifty-four. I don't need to write here this uh, long uh, sixteen of zeros, uh, sixteen of one and zeros. And um, also for our humans, it's easier to read also in a text, as you can see here for this program view and edit and a share buttons. All of this is in a human reading text, and there is also some encoding from uh, you are basically encoding the numbers into into letters. You are get in, you are encoding bits into into actual letters you can see on your monitor. Okay, and uh, as a standardized format in uh, Ethereum, when you are seeing here some transactions data, your bytecode, uh, formatted code of your smart contract, is in a bytes bytes format. Okay, and um, yeah, any questions? Ask them, guys. I'm sorry for misinterpreting one and zeros when I'm talking is one and zeros. So it's in my mind. It's somehow working else. Uh, uh, yeah, let's continue the next lecture, guys. And we will be yeah doing some practical stuff. Uh, lectures are important, but uh, we need to also do some coding, and there is a lot of coding ahead of us. Cheers.